Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back at Kajinori, and we are trying to locate probably one of the most elusive fish that I have so far dealt with, other than the Ruby Snapper. This is the Chobe Fish. Now, I had come in here and tried to fish for these guys for actually a, a few hours, and haven't been able to pull out of one. But I tell you, I ended up having to go back, do some research, and from what some of my other YouTuber guys have discovered is these fish, since they're not very big, the gear we have is just a little bit too big. <laughs> Basically, the, the rod that we were presented with, this one right here, it's too heavy. It's so big that you can't even tell they're on there. As far as I can tell, the average uh, with common size, probably about nine pounds, about three kilograms, two kilograms. So they don't even register very well on this. So basically what I decided to do is get rid of all the footage I have because it wasn't producing anything and go back to the main map and redo some of my stuff. I'm, I basically brought in a couple of rods that I mean they don't go over 80 pounds and they're not sea rods but you know granted they should be able to catch these fish and one of the things that I do know about the Job fish is that they will go for these sea worms and all the big fish here do not so that's helpful we don't have to worry about it ruining our gear but you're going to have to bring at least one of these lower level bottom rods. Something like 80 pounds or less per test. So I went ahead and balanced them really well, as best I could anyway. And we're going to try it again. That's all we really, you know, that's really all you can do. Is just give it your best shot. But anyway, we are back in the spot where they had told us to go. We have lots of fish here. Plenty of them on the bottom. Of course, some of these look kind of big, to be honest. That's been part of the problem. It's singling out these fish. They're not very big, like I said. See, that's probably one right there, to give you an example. But then right behind it, we've got a lot of dog tooth tuna out here and other larger species. So it's really tricky. This is not really the best spot that they could have picked but it is the spot we have to deal with and we have to get five of these suckers so let's see what we can do to get them now I think we've I think we've put it in the best point part of the day at least I'm not sure if these fish tend to feed at night or in the daytime but we're gonna see here all right let's go ahead and get back down here And yeah, we're going to try this as, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Like the ruby snapper, you have to throw it out, let it fall to the bottom as best you can. Now it's about 200 feet deep here, so that actually was perfect. Might just keep it at that. I'm going to go ahead and put more tension on it okay we've already got a bite well maybe not let's just let it go ahead and sink in and we'll 
we'll go ahead and set this other one out. I don't know how far out it will go, but I don't want it to go too far out. Yeah, it could go out a little further than that. Now, it just so happens that this is a giant grouper spot, too. When I was here earlier, I was catching giant grouper pretty readily. But we're going to let this go down all the way to the bottom. And once it reaches it, go ahead and stop it. Check this one. Yeah, it's right on the bottom. All right. Now, hopefully, the sea worms will single them out. Now, I've got like a six aught and a five aught hook on them. You don't want anything smaller because otherwise, you'll get the jack mackerel instead. I don't know if I'm going to do any other fishing at this point. I might just see how these rods do. I hope to God this has finally got it. I've got bells on both of them, so if we get a bite, we should know something. Now, I think while I'm doing this, in order to pass the time, I'm going to try this trophy double hook piker using my ballerina rod, or whatever rod this is. Tropicana rod with the ballerina reel, I mean. Well, it didn't get as far as I thought, but... With the species out here, we might still get a... something's attention. You never know. Now, the joe fish will go for pilkers. Now, the hook here may be a little bit big. I don't know. Might be smaller pilkers that they go for. I haven't had one go for it yet. Just ruby snappers. Oh, shoot. Something did go for it. There we go. Yeah, another thing I had to go back for is my gear, this non sea gear, was getting wrecked pretty bad. These fish are heavy duty. I'm curious to see what we got here. I'm sure it's. Not what we're after, but even if it is, it wouldn't count. Yep, narrow barred mackerel. But at least we're keeping the cash coming in. Lots of things to go for the pilkers. That gun. Okay. Well, may have to forego this because I want to find out what is on this. This is probably what we're after, guys. I think we might have actually caught one. I don't know what we got on the other rod, but if it gets off, I don't care at this point. Been trying a long time to get these guys, and they have been so elusive. Uh, if it turns out to be a jack mackerel, well, I'm gonna be able to it. There it is. We got our first green joke fish. There he is. There's that little bugger. That's what we had to do. Yeah, like I said, this is not easy. You're gonna probably have to go back to the main 
the main map and get everything set up just to catch these guys. Yeah, we lost that other one. Just to get these guys, you're going to have to go back. And they could tell you this kind of stuff. They don't. But I want to get a good look at this guy. Yeah, he's he's cool looking. He really is. Again, not very big. About nine pounds. Well, let me go ahead and keep him because... Okay, Kaji no Ri's assistant. Catch all fish species of common form. Got that one. So we got a bucktail out of that. 44,000 cash. I think we might have lost that fish. Well, of course we did. Hmm. Well, we now know how to catch them. It's definitely the sea worms. Now this had a 5 out hook, just to let you know, and a cannonball sinker 7 ounce. This rod will not allow anything bigger, not the pyramid type. Really? Something was trying to go for it. What we'll do is we'll see if we can't get another one. Be nice if we can get us a trophy. Really nice if we get us a unique one. But I would count on that. Okay, we finally figured finally got one here, guys. We finally got one. I have been fighting with that other one there for a while. We're losing tension on that one. But I think this is going to be a Job fish. Judging from its size. There we go, new personal record. Six, one six three six. Eleven, almost twelve pounder. Let's get a look at this one. I didn't get a look at the last one that I got. I'm sure they're not that big, but Yeah, actually they look a lot like a Ruby Snapper, except obviously they're green. Let me get a good picture here. There we go. That's a pretty fish, actually. I really like him. And we're still getting a bite on this one, too, a little bit. Off and on. Okay, let's throw this one back out. Put it out a little more than 200 feet just to make sure it gets down where it's supposed to be. About 220. Let's go with that. This one I'm just going to reel in. They're be they're biting on the pilkers, but they are just tearing it up. There's they're just too big. Just too darn big. Let's see, we're about where we need to be, but I'm gonna reel this up. Wait a minute. I'll reel this up just a little bit, get it off the bottom. There we go. This is a small pilker. We might try to see if these guys might actually go for it. Since we're having success with the other two rods, and we finally are, 
Might have some success with a pilker down deep. Yeah, if we can actually get all five of these guys, I think what I'm going to do is switch over to my big rod. Whoa. Holy crap. There we go. <laughs> I was just letting it go down. Wasn't doing anything special with it. And something latched onto it. That was weird. Let's see what we got here, guys. If it's a job fish, it's not going to count. Nope. Narrow bar mackerel. I will take him. We need the cash. Always need the cash. At least with this, we don't have to worry about it damaging anything. Okay, one of these is getting a bite. I don't know which one. Always the problem, and then it times out. If the line would move or anything that would help, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. There we go. That's something, Pilkin. Jack. Yeah, they suggested every now and then just checking your rods, too. You might have one and not even realize it. Which I'm not sure I'd like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they jingled, but nothing was on them. Like I said, I did see some big fish out there. And I bet you if I throw this out, you might get a grouper to bite on. Yeah, this Japanese spiny lobster will definitely single out the giant grouper. What it's going to end up taking, guys, you're just going to spend some serious time here. With only two rods to be able to use, and they don't show up on the rods very well. There we go. <laughs> That's how it's done. Just sit there and wait. You know, I get one of these guys about the same time I'll get a bite. That's the way it works. Now, this one is actually pretty darn 
big. He's really giving me a fight. He's at least a normal size one. Don't see it as a young one. That Joe fish is just teasing me. That's really driving me crazy when they do that. Well, I got it down to a certain amount, but he's fighting me some more. This is actually the biggest fight I've gotten from a grouper yet. So he's either very high end on the regular common size spectrum, or we might have us a trophy. I would love to get a trophy because I would definitely finish on another one in my type list. Yeah, he's going to go up to 100 feet. This might be our trophy, guys. He's getting a second win. He's taken it out back out to 120 feet again. Mm. on it, really. <sighs> yep, he's taking out about the 100 feet again. Dang, God. 120. We might have us a trophy one, guys. We might have us a trophy. In fact, I'm almost certain of it now. He's got to get tired eventually, because I know I am. Got him, guys. Nope, he is not a trophy, but he is the biggest I've caught so far at 240 pounds. Holy crap. Let's take a look at this fellow. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, that's a big fella. Check him out. In all his glory. 240 pounds. Still, we're a long way off from the marlin we caught at 414. But I'm still kind of curious. Does anyone know which is the biggest fish that can be caught in this game? Is it the striped marlin? Unique. Is it a trophy giant grouper? Or is it a unique bluefin tuna? That's what I want to know. What is the biggest one? Acquiring minds want to know. I think you got it on number one here, guys. <sighs> nope. It's like these guys are just really don't want to be caught. Ugh. It's frustrating. I was getting a little lax. I think this is probably a young one. 
coming in way too easily. The battery just didn't realize he was caught until now. All right, we got him. I think I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Yep, young giant grouper, 132 pounds, 11,946. Like I said, it came in a little too easy to be anything but. And all that time, we did, we barely got any nibbles. I don't know what the deal is with these joe fish. Oh wow, it's not latched onto that. Let's see what we got here, guys. This shouldn't take too long to get in, but. Man, my dog's grazing hack. <sighs> Want to know what the dog wants? Here's what the dog wants the dog is so spoiled that it wants me to cover it up and tuck it in. <laughs> That's my beagle. He wants to be tucked in for the night. That's what he wants. And he'll cry until I do it. Now, is that spoiled or what? And it's my fault. I've done it to him. He's gotten that demanding. Boy, this is a tough fish. Dang, gone. He is really giving me a fight. Jasper, you just gonna have to hold on just a minute until I get this fish in. He didn't care.
it is a dog tooth tuna. Good size one too. 10,796. Yeah, it sounds like we're finally maybe getting a nibble there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye bye. All right, guys, I had to come back. I had to come back. Just after I had signed off, I fought this other guy, and there it is. There it is, the trophy giant grouper. Definitely not the biggest fish. 289.926. Very big, mind you, though. <laughs> Very big. This is as big as they come, guys. 36, 386. Really great crash. Let's take a look at this fella. This is the biggest of the giant groupers. I don't know how he compares to where they can get to in the trophy category, but that is one massive fish. He is thick. He is thick. One serious fish here, guys. Trying to get the best picture possible, but... The lighting is starting to disappear here. Can't even see my face, though. He takes up my entire body. <laughs> we got him. We got the biggest of the groupers. There's another one. Bites the dust. All right. Yeah, we still haven't got the job fish, just to let you know. We got a couple of nibbles, but no takers. So I am going to check these, see if there's anything actually on them. Now it says the strike was done too early. Of course. Oh, there's a snag. So that was keeping us from catching anything. Well, I will keep at it, guys. But anyway, sorry I have to bring it back, but that I couldn't resist showing you, without a doubt. Nice grouper. Very nice grouper. So still the striped marlin is the biggest. I think the next time we go after the blue Pacific... After, the next time we go after the Pacific blue pin... God, what's it? The next time we go after the bluefin tuna, I have to see how they compare in size. That's the only other fish I can think of in this game that might come close to being the biggest.